okay so I just got everything set up again here yeah. the cats okay so I just moved into this new place so I've been trying to set up my aquaponic systems so that they maximize the Sun so there's a lot of Sun that comes through this window so I took my two systems that I already have I set one up here the snail one I don't know how well that's coming out in the light right now snail ones here fish one here I'm trying an experiment over here with a stainless steel bowl as a grow bed pretty sure it's going to be safe I haven't seen a massive die off of the snails yet although I did just move so I don't know if those bodies are crushed they mostly look crushed from the move I should probably separate them out so I can figure out which ones are dead from stainless steel and which ones are dead from the move. Oh, it's not the stainless steel. But anyways, there's no rust in there, so I'm pretty sure it's not the stainless steel. I'll explain this grow bed a little more. Got eggshells holding little bits of soil, which pull water up. Right now they're dry because I had everything shut off for the day. The cats wiped out the shelf I had rigged up, so I had to go get another shelf that actually put the aquaponic system at the right height and held it there. I had two tables stacked on top of each other. Don't do that when you got cats. It's fine if you don't got cats. Anyways, over here, this is the grow bed for the snail tank. These are the snails. It's black mystery snails. They reproduce on their own. We throw scrap vegetables and stuff in there. They thrive quite well. And I got a wicking system here growing some radishes. Any excess fish water I got, or snail water, goes into here. I'm gonna put it in a tube. The tube feeds down. I had this soil, it was really old, almost dead. I just kept layering tea and coffee up on it for a while. And I plunked down some new soil, stuck the pipe in there so it goes down to the middle part, to the top of the old soil. And these radishes are doing pretty good so far. I planted them the first day I got here, so 10 days ago, 11 days ago. And up here, we got the bamboo going. That's what I've been using to filter the fish tank for the last year or so. It's in rough shape because the darkest days of the winter, it didn't get enough sun, even by bamboo standards. And I got the UV lamp going, but I didn't have it going just enough on them. I had it going on some other stuff at the time, but I thought they'd be okay. But they're still alive. They're just a little rough. But they still act great as a filter. Then inside, it's, I got glass marbles and aquarium rocks and then uh, lava rocks they act great as a natural filter also on top of what the plants do the lava rocks are a great filter it's a little murky right now because I was just fixing and playing with the water as I said the cats knocked over this whole grow bed this morning it was crazy so there it is the Neo Zen Garden 5.0, or I guess 5.1, because the first one was destroyed by the wrath of cats. We can get another shot with the light. Hmm. Ah, it's a little dark in here. I'm experimenting with LED light bulbs. They look better on your eyes than they do on camera. They use less power and they last longer and they don't cause all the weird side effects of CFL light bulbs. So look them up.
PS. Just to explain some of the bits and pieces here. This usually is glass, but uh, with this shelf, I wasn't able to get the bucket up as high as it normally goes, so I replaced it with the plastic one at the time being, just so it doesn't stab the fishes in the eyes. But uh, this is a splash guard. You put all the splash in, in there. Without this, splash goes everywhere, like as in outside the tank. So all you gotta do is put a cup with some holes in it, and you got a splash guard. Pipes. The best stuff to use, the more flexible it is, the better, because you're gonna have to do some weird things with your pipes. So get whatever's water potable and flexible. Get a bunch of it too. One of those big coils for like 20 bucks. It's worth it because you can build a lot of these little projects with it. Next note is these jugs, these water jugs, two different sizes, same kind. Both work pretty darn good. The only complaint I have about them is that they are plastic and they'll break down with UV light. That's why I'm coating everything with tin foil over time. I got some tin foil, that's one of my projects I'm doing. They're a little rough right now from the move, so I gotta recoat them, but I'm trying to remove as much plastic as possible from the projects. You gotta make sure the tin foil stays out of your tanks too, because it's really, really bad for fish and probably snails. And that's about all I can think of for the PS. Other than when you like angle your grow bed, if you angle the outspout end down a little bit, it won't hold as much water, but you won't get as much spill backwards. But if you angle it up, there's ways to tie the string around the nozzle so that the water doesn't flow back on the outside of the tank and just flows out and goes the good way. I'm just too lazy to rig it up that way because I'm trying for some really simple designs right now.